The scale of the problem uh, in terms of uh, individual internet users accessing either stolen digital content uh, which affects the creative industries or going to websites that are in the business of distributing counterfeit physical pro products is huge. So how easy is it to find movies and TV shows on pirate sites? Well, I mean, unfortunately, it's trivially easy. You can find uh, through search uh, multiple sites where uh, illegal copies of almost anything you're looking for are available. The way these uh, sites make money is one of two ways. Either they entice people to subscribe, usually for faster uh, either streaming or download speeds. Generally, those transactions are supported by a credit card company. The other way they make money is through advertisements. And here we're looking at uh, one of these uh, criminal sites, and uh, what we find is an advertisement uh, from Adidas. There are financial sectors, uh, advertising networks, and credit card companies that actually provide funds for uh, for websites and what we need is those sectors uh, not to allow again their perfectly legitimate <clears throat> financial infrastructure to funnel funds to criminal sites. This is an issue that cuts across the entire U.S. economy and I don't think it's too strong to say that if we don't prevent the continuing escalation of theft of the output of our creative industries and the theft through counterfeiting of the trademark and innovative brand names that have been built up by our manufacturing economy, uh, the U.S. economic growth in the future is highly compromised. What would a private sector solution to deal with online piracy look like? Let's take uh, credit cards as an example. The White House IP czar actually brokered a very positive agreement with uh, five of the largest payment processors, credit card companies, uh, American Express, MasterCard, Visa, PayPal, uh, last summer, uh, more than a year ago, in which the companies agreed to take reasonable steps to receive complaints and to take steps to prevent them, their credit cards from being used on sites that are either dedicated to distributing stolen digital content or counterfeit physical. What we need to do now is work through a series of other sectors and try to find uh, uh, reasonable steps. And no one is asking anyone to do anything unreasonable. And one needs to work out ways in which it's transparent and which one is sure that one is not uh, interfering uh, with either free speech, free access, or privacy uh, on the internet, but is really targeting criminal activity.